Welcome to the Upcycle Canada podcast. I'm Jennifer, and together with my husband Dave, we started with an idea, worked on it as a side hustle, and grew it into our our first eco-friendly store. At Upcycle Canada, we repurpose, refinish, and reuse discarded items, giving them new life. Sit in on the conversation as we continue to grow from a small side hustle into something much more. Special guests will drop by and share their journey with you as well. This is the most eco-friendly small business podcast in your favorites. This is Upcycle Canada, where yesterday's items are reborn. Let's do this. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us for the Upcycle Canada podcast. Yes. We are actually ending up the end of the year, Mm -hmm. 2021. We have uh, another podcast after this, which will end off our season one. Yes. Have you enjoyed season one I so have. far? Yes. Good. So have I. You're a great co-host, by the way. <laughs> it's a pleasure. For somebody who is relatively unknown to podcasting and mm-hmm. listening to podcasts, yes, you've definitely stepped up and you've found your spot. Like I have my own, but yet I don't listen to them you, very often. Well, <laughs> you should. I should. Yes. It definitely actually, listen to this one. I know that listening to podcasts has definitely improved me in many ways like yeah. how to how to be a better person for one and just managing my people where i work like just yeah. thinking about things like it's it's definitely beneficial it's great for learning but i also like it for entertainment yeah. so i ah, listen yes. to the rob Lowe, literally <laughs> with rob Lowe. Yes. it's a great podcast yes. he has superstars on talking to them they take you behind the scenes they have one with michael j fox yeah and listening to him talk about Back to the Future and how right. he wasn't first pick for the actor role. It's crazy. His middle and initial isn't J. No. Like, there's so much you learn from these people. And, and to have somebody like Rob Lowe, who we loved on Parks and Recreation. Mm-hmm. Favorite show. Literally. Literally. <laughs> and that's actually where he got that tagline yes. from, yeah, from that TV from show. The show. <laughs> so so that's what he calls his podcast. So yeah. I love it for entertainment, that's too. That's right. Now, I have more downtime because I work a night shift, like Mm -hmm. I've mentioned many, many, many times. And I work by myself at a store stocking shelves to help pay for the store. Yeah, you're by yourself. You're not alone in the store. No, there's other people there, but you're in your own aisle. Yeah, Yeah. so for you, though, you're a boss. So you (laughs) have people coming to you and you can't be listening to podcasts while you're at work. So (laughs) I have eight hours where I'm paid to listen to a podcast. Great. That's plan. Awesome. That's awesome. I love that. You probably the... laugh out loud sometimes if you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's hilarious stuff. He oh, had great. Mike Myers on. Yes. And Dana Carvey. Yeah. And, oh, you're just like this is, I'm having so much fun listening to all of these guys. <laughs> so for me, podcasts are a great learning tool, great entertainment tool, and it there is an unlimited amount of podcasts out there to listen to, to learn from, yes. to enjoy. So if Listening to a podcast is not your thing. Hopefully it is because you're listening to us right now. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Uh, But share it with people. Let people know about podcasts because it is growing and growing and growing in popularity. You know, I know like personally, like life, like a lot of people are like, I'm too busy. Like I don't have time to sit down and read a book anymore. You don't have to. You can, while you're cooking, for instance, or you're in your kitchen or you're cleaning or you're busy doing stuff, you can listen to a podcast and still get your work done, like yeah. your housekeeping stuff or whatever. Like I think, oh, I don't have time to sit down and, and read something, but I can listen all And what's long. cool too is you can pause it. So the phone <laughs> rings and you're like, oh, pause. pause. You can do whatever you need to do and you can come back to it. Yeah. Uh, you missed what they said. You, was, you weren't paying attention. You can rewind. Like, yeah, it's it's completely on your time schedule and whatever works for you. That's right. What we're going to do for our last podcast of the year for 2021, which will launch around Boxing Day, 26th of December. Uh, we usually try to launch them on Sunday mornings around 6 a.m. Yeah. Because we're crazy yeah. that way. But no, it's just how we we're set not, it up. I'm not awake. No, we're not even. Well, mean, I'm at work. You're still you're working. You're sleeping. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, we launch them in the mornings on su- Sundays every week. We're probably going to pre-record that one. And what we're going to do is do our our best of yeah. from season one. Yeah. So we started Highlight. back in October. That's right. Mid-October and all the way till now. So we're going to take a little snippets and little things that we talked about, little stories and kind of a summary. 
and a just kind of a any homage <laughs> nice word an homage to our all of our past episodes for 2021 and maybe sneak peeks or possibilities of what's coming next year yeah so that's what we're going to work on for the last so this is okay. technically exactly. our last full episode yes on its own for 2021 that's right so it is getting to be that time of year holiday time of year yes. people are thinking about giving gifts to each other and being more uh giving in general i think to... just uh, yeah in general like you said and just being mindful of those who've maybe lost someone or caring and yeah. just considering the people next door you know the people moms. are a little more free with their money That's this time right. of year and we've all been stuck in our homes for mm -hmm. the last two years yeah. roughly with all the things going on in the world so for here in canada we still have all the different things going on so uh, people are are kind of hoping to help each other i would think this time of year yes so what we wanted to kind of look at was one of a, a blog posts that we posted oh gee this was this back was in back. 2020 Oh December my goodness, 2nd, I saw it said December, but I didn't realize it was 2020. 2020. <laughs> so a year ago. We've been doing blog posts for a while. Yes. If you don't know, uh, we do a blog and they do kind of feed into our podcast. That's right. As far as topics. So you can go to our website, upcyclecanada.ca, click on the blog section, and then you'll see all of our blog posts yep. going back in time. But uh, we had just a really short one back on December 2nd. And uh, we just talked about uh, Upcycle Canada giving back during the holidays. That's right. And what we want to do today is we're just going to go over like five things that you can consider doing at holiday time to help others and to and to give back from your abundance. Right. Okay. So that's kind of what we're going to discuss today. So we found a quote. We love always starting with a quote because yes. it kind of helps again level set and get our explain where our minds are at as we enter the podcast episode and topic so yes. jen what do you got today so we are talking about doing acts of kindness to some degree so this quote is small acts when multiplied by millions of people can transform the world a Any small action. single act on its own could change the it's world like a domino effect you and know? how connected we are in the world right now with social media and the internet and the world is on our our phones in our pocket yeah like you can interact with anybody anywhere where mm -hmm. people are listening to us in 17 different countries I know from our living room so the world is a small place it has been, and it feels we've like it's connected become a small with, place yeah. we've connected with people we would never ever connect with no. like right? we'll never travel the world so there's a lot of possibilities out there and it's interesting a story I remember from years ago was there was this old man walking along the ocean. Waves are rolling in, rolling back out. And he sees this boy walking towards him from a distance, stopping, picking something up and chucking it into the ocean. And, right. take, and they, they're coming toward each other. And so this old man is watching this boy randomly pick up things and throw them in the ocean, not knowing what he's doing. Right. And as he gets closer, he realizes that the tide had come in and gone back out. And left starfish all over the beach. Wow. And it's early in the morning. Midday, the sun will be out in full force, and all of these starfish are going to die. Right. Because now they're out of their element, they're out of the water, they're on the beach. And this boy is picking up these starfish and just flinging them back in the ocean. Right. One at a time. Seems silly, right? Right. But yeah. So the old man and the boy finally meet face to face as they walk towards each other. And the old man finally realizes what this boy's doing. Right. And he says, he stops the boy mid tossing of the next oh, starfish yeah. into the ocean he stops him and says what so what are you doing and the, and the boy's like oh, i'm just throwing the starfish back in the ocean they're everywhere he's all over the beach hundreds and hundreds of them yeah and the old man's like there's look around you this is an incredibly unattainable task right there's more starfish on this beach than you will ever ever be able to save it's not important and with those don't words, waste your time, basically. Yeah, don't waste your time. It's not important. You could be doing something better with your time. And with those words, the boy picked up the next starfish off the beach. And he said, it might not be important to all of them, but it's important to this one. And he threw it into the ocean. And then he picked up the next one. Right. And, and, and then he continued and, from there. Wow. But that's 
the simple act of one small act means something to somebody. That's right. Right? doesn't matter if you can't do everything. You can do something. And that's what going into the holiday season, no matter what, where you are in the world and how you celebrate, and if you even celebrate at this time of year, like we do in Canada, right. coming into Christmas and the holiday season, as a person, you can celebrate and be a holiday-spirited person in your everyday life and how you give back and how you support people. Right. And how you make a difference for that starfish That's right. by chucking it back in the That's ocean. Right, yeah. It means something to this starfish. Yeah. It means something to that person, to that community. You can do some simple things. Yeah. And so some of the things I think of is like everybody has something they're good at. And so regardless of what that is, and it might seem small to you, but what what is that thing that you know how to do that you could maybe help someone with? Don't be afraid to like fill the meters in the parking or something like that. Just put some coins. Like, don't let people get a parking ticket. Do, like, little small acts that you, it don't have to be recognized either. You know, like, we can do acts of kindness not to get gratification for it. You don't do it with that intention. You do it because it's out of the goodness of your heart and you want to help that next So person. one thing I've been watching online, um, it, I don't really know the motives behind all of this, but it's just super popular right now as a guy goes by Mr. Beast. Yeah. On YouTube. And I've just been watching a few of his videos and it's pretty amazing some of the things that he's doing. So he will go in and like I saw one, he, he bought the entire contents of a sporting goods store. He yeah. bought everything. He grabbed all the buggies and he just started going down the aisles and loading them all up. He bought everything. He yeah. cleaned out the entire store. There's nothing ridiculous. left. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And then at one point he invited all the local coaches from all the local high schools in yes. and said, grab a cart, anything you want, it's free. And he paid for it. Yeah. Like full price right. for everything. That's so extreme. So the business but, yeah. sold everything in their store. Yes. We're talking like 80000 plus dollars worth of inventory yeah. gone. And U-Haul trucks parked up outside and just loading it up. Yeah. He went to a grocery store and bought aisles and aisles and aisles of food. Yeah. And donated all the food to shelters. That's right. He'd call up a homeless shelter and ask them for their wish list of everything they need. And then he would go buy it and drop it off and then give them cash. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that's the extreme, obviously. Like, I don't have $80,000 to go clean out a store today. No. But you might have $20 to pay for somebody's something. Yeah. food in, in your line at the drive thru. So, we're going to do five things yes. that you can do to give back. During the holiday season or in your everyday life. That's right. So number one, if you have a skill or a talent, that's right. Give it away for nothing. Share it. How about somebody's really good with Instagram or social media? That's right. So you can go help somebody who has no idea how to do that. Right? Perfect. Yeah. For free. That's right. You can go to a nonprofit and just go volunteer your day and uh, go in there and help them with their Instagram. There's a, uh, Get them up and running. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's a simple one. Yeah. Right. I think of um, a community, like a local community charity, like that will help their community, like a food bank. Yeah. Why not go downtown and either donate or food or donate your time? Like, yeah. Provide something to somebody that they need out of the abundance of what you know. That's right. Right. So that's something you can do. So that was number one. Number two, Jen, what could we do as a person, not a business? as a person to impact the lives of people around us? Um, I think that by setting an example of maybe sort of being that initial person to start something, for instance, going through the drive through at a restaurant, you know, why not, if you've got some extra cash, why not, here's, here's an additional $20 or whatever it is you have in your pocket. It could be $100, it could be more. And, you know, you pay for your coffee or whatever you're going through for your meal. And then here's an additional dollar x a dollar amount to pay for the next people that are coming through i remember doing that for people in line yeah i've done it and too. it's it, you're excited because you know what you've done for the person you almost want to see the response before you right? leave the sometimes thing. you can because you have to go they push you through yeah but you know it it's or i've been on the receiving end mm -hmm. and i pulled up with my money in my hand and like nope this one's free yeah and you're like what yeah it, it catches you off guard yeah. right yeah. And in, in a way, you're like, you're already ready to pay. So it's like, well, I'll just pay for the next one behind me. Yeah, and you exactly. start this 
you create this circle a little domino right, of giving okay. yeah right so little things little right? things just small little things that you can do that's right so just initiate it start the ball rolling exactly um yeah. we've talked about it many many times in different podcasts too where normal people don't take the extra steps they just they're happy being normal happy just being in the same thing and not overstepping and taking the big leap ahead yeah. right when you take the step forward and you initiate change by being a good example to others then it becomes more easy for the next person it's to like a follow ripple, ripple effect they follow yeah. your lead that's right right so if you're driving today mm -hmm. and you're listening to the podcast or you will be driving today or tomorrow mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity to pull up to that window yeah. and pay for your order and there's a car rumbling behind you pay for their order that's right just do it yeah just tell the person there i like to pay for the car behind me that's but right. you will change somebody's day even if even if it's only for a moment you will change their day and their outlook on life they might be having the worst day ever and your simple act will have an impact on that's them. That's right. Pick up the starfish, throw totally. it in the ocean. Totally. Okay. So that was number two. So number three, Jen, Yes. is a total disruptor. So number two was about disrupting one person's day and changing their outlook right. on their day. But number three is even more disruptive by doing something for somebody else. A situation, an example that for, from well, our past? Uh, yes, not to Not to promote ourselves, but no. something that confused us. That's right. Because we were helping somebody, yes. But the response from the neighbors was what? Was was just like, what are you, earth are you doing that for? Like, it's not your yard. Like, so, so what were we doing? So basically, we had three young children, and we were cutting our grass, and we noticed that our neighbor beside us was on his own and had struggled health to, problems. Health problems, and his grass was getting like long. People were complaining how terrible his yard looked. And so I'm like, well, I got time, you know. I've got a lawnmower. It works. Why not just go up and down his yard? And our yards were big. They were huge. <laughs> we had two properties, uh, yeah. basically. Yeah. Side by side. Between that was the one three, lot. The two of our properties was Deep. equal to three. Yeah. yeah. And so, but yeah, I remember um, the one neighbor, Kitty Corner, from us in the backyard. He came out to me and said, what on earth are you doing? And I'm like, I'm cutting his grass. He's like, why? And I'm like, because I can. Like, it's, you know. It's, and because it's, you should. And because <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, no, yeah. he, he's, it's like, have you talked to them? Like, do you realize that he maybe can't, you know? And so it, that was the thing. He's like, I can't believe you're doing that. So then it became like, oh, hey, you know, and then he offered me a drink, you know, at some point because he thanked me. He, the neighbor now was happy to see that his so yard was, yeah. looked good. Yeah. Right. So, so it came full circle for us. That's right. So we help people. That's right. And now we're both working crazy hours just to keep the store going That's and right. keep our careers on and everything else we're working ridiculous insane hours. amount of hours and, and our our front yard is now Full of the uh, not the most popular place in our neighborhood and our neighbor across the street came and helped us that's right he was i was on my way out out of the house again like we're we're gone more than we're home and he was raking the neighbor's, our other neighbor's yard in the rain, raking the leaves down to the end of the yard to the road. And he stopped me and said, hey, if you have time, you know, and you want to rake your leaves down to the, the end of the road, I'll pick them up, scoop them up, and I'll dump them somewhere else. And I said, well, I'm out of the house now till whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, but thanks for the offer. I appreciate it. And so I came home and the yard was clean. Um, so I realized later on that the neighbors had done it and, um, I, it was almost a week later, I was able to just reach out to him and thank him for his kindness because the fact that we're so busy, you know, and he, he did this in the rain was just like, wow, like Very you have kind. no yeah. idea how thoughtful that was for us just to consider taking care of that. For so that a day. simple act of helping somebody in need, they have... They can't do something because of whatever. They're busy mm -hmm. or they physically can't do it. Whatever it is, but you step in and fill the need. Yeah. Simple thing you can do at a holiday time to help somebody. So consider that. Even um, like even friendships. Maybe there's someone you haven't seen for a while or you just, you, you know, it's a neighbor. Again, go knock on their door and just say hi and just, you know, here's a Christmas card. Like or something. It doesn't have to be of any expense. Just... 
go around and say hi or walk through walk through your neighborhood and just try to acknowledge people. Don't yeah. be afraid to say hi and put a smile on their face. Good. So we're going to go to number four. So that's number four. Let's talk about charities for a, set, for a moment. Right. So all year, consistently, charities give, give, give. They support the community. They uh, raise money for events. They give away products or services to help people. Right. And they do it under tight budgets, under volunteers. They they have a lot of things they have to struggle with. Yeah. So at this time of year, we would encourage everyone to think about their local charities, whatever they are, and how they can support them financially with time, with donations. Um, you could yeah. do something just for their team and bring them yeah. snacks or something yeah, exactly. or hi, uh, order a bunch of pizzas and have them delivered yeah. or donuts and baked goods or something for their staff just to celebrate for all of the hard work that's happened that's right over the year yeah right so consider your local charities consider anything that you can do to help them right so that would be one thing that i would suggest yeah one of the challenges that we put out last year was to to reduce the amount of money you spend on wrapping paper mm. for your yes. Christmas presents. I remember that. We're going to talk about it again this year on our social media sites. So let's just use fake numbers here. Let's say you spend $60 a year on wrapping paper and ribbons. Right. To wrap up your presents. All, those, all that wrapping paper gets ripped apart on Christmas morning, thrown in a garbage bag, and sent to the landfill. Yeah. Because wrapping paper isn't recyclable. recyclable. <laughs> so there's a lot of things there that make us at Upcycle Canada uh, sweat. There's <laughs> a lot of things we don't enjoy there. So our challenge last year to people was to use the free uh, want ads and newspapers and advertisements that come to your home. Right. And wrap your presents in those. Yeah. A, because they're free. Right. Which is what we are all about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and B, all of that newsprint and uh, all that stuff, all those flyers, yes. are recyclable. recyclable. Yes. They You're will not go to waste. Ends. There's no expense in the beginning, and there's nothing going to the landfill. No. So if you wrap your presents in in newspaper, in free newspapers, yeah. yes. and advertisements, you just save yourself, say, $60. for example, $60. That's right. What can you do with that $60? Right. Maybe you donated that $60 from your wrapping paper funds mm -hmm. to a charity. <laughs> That's right. Now you're like, well, it's only $60. It's only one starfish. See where we're every going with dollar, that? Every dollar matters. Every, to a charity, every single penny, dollar, yep. every amount matters. Yes. So don't have in your mind that my gift is too small and it won't be. It's not required. It is required. Yeah. It's like throwing that stone in the ripple effect. It yeah. just takes one small act. And like your quote. Yes. Right? And when it's multiple. Millions of people. Millions of are people. Or do small things. That's when big change happens. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not. I love the Mr. Beast story we talked about. One person mm -hmm. doing big things and making a big change for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. But if you're not that person. Which most of us aren't. <laughs> you can do small things. Yeah. With a lot of people yeah. and make a big change. That's right. Right? So that's our challenge. If you do celebrate Christmas and you wrap presents, whether you wrap some or all or even one with recycled materials, yeah. you are diverting stuff from the landfill. Saving money. Saving money. And you're using recyclable materials. Yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah, it's not going to be as gorgeous and pretty on Christmas There's morning. No color theme. And oh, gosh. So on, but... If you can get past that and you care about the environment, sorry and, for that little you know, and jab, it's the jab ink, there. You're going to get ink on your hands, you know, because of the newsprint. Well, you just wash your hands when you're done. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so that's our challenge. Yes. And we're going to talk more about it on our social media platforms. But we're throwing it out there. That's right. If you're up for it, try it. Take the extra money and donate it. And then tell that's number four. And then like tell the next person yeah. to do it. You know? 
give give them the challenge. Okay, we're going to jump to number five. All right, so we've talked about four things, four yes. ideas so far. Yes. Last one, I'm working, volunteered to work at my job over Christmas. Right. Holidays. A lot of other people on my shifts have younger families and they want to be home, so I'm I'm available, so I'm going to work right. through the holiday. But people who work over the holidays, think of first responders right. um, in the hospital, our nurses, our doctors, Firemen, our garbage police, men, garbage men who work no matter what, yeah. mail, the mail, mail care, people yeah. deliver our mail. There's so many different people that work over all of the holidays who don't get recognized. No. A small starfish mm -hmm. idea yeah. that has a big impact on people. Right. Another example I saw was a lady who makes a lunch for every, every week for her garbage collectors. Hmm. They pull up, there's a bag hanging off that gets her mailbox, and they they grab the lunch, throw it in the cab, and there's drinks and snacks and yeah. whatever, hmm. and she makes them every every week faithfully, yeah. and they know that it's there for them. That's crazy. Like, talk about something that's not broadcast to the world, mm -hmm. posted on social media, look at me, look at me, what I... How great I am, I do something nice for people. Yeah. But something that's faithfully done on a regular basis that's right. that helps people, That's your that should be our attitude going into right. celebrating and giving back to our community. Yeah, and I mean, it, some of it is even as simple as like where you're in your neighborhood with the crossing guard, you know, at your kids crossing the street and maybe it's cold outside. Your bus, school bus driver. Yeah, school bus driver or anything. anything. Just get them like get them a hot drink. You know, the in the summertime, I mean it's the, now the season we're talking about at the moment, but even in the summertime when it's hot out and you see the the workers or the garbage men or whatever coming by, give them a, a bottle of water. Yeah. Like it's there's nothing just share you know, share with your neighborhood and the community and especially those who have to work the holidays. That's the tough it's tough. Well, everybody wants to be home. Everything about social media today is about myself. Mm. It's a selfie. Yeah. It's not a UE. No. It's a selfie. Yeah. So it's about me. Yeah. So people are taking photos of themselves, they're video them themselves, they're doing the TikTok dances of themselves. Everything's about me. Mm -hmm. Me, 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 instant mm -hmm. gratification. Yeah. yeah. So it seems that at holiday time, people put that on pause to some degree. And start seeing other people around them and the needs and the experiences of those around them in community. And for a moment, step outside of themselves and help others. Right. That's our challenge yes. going into any holiday season. That's right. No matter where you celebrate, where in the 17 countries you're listening to us, <sighs> whatever that holiday season is for you, is to consider these as examples, as ways where you can adapt what we're talking about and apply them to your situation exactly. so that at the end of the day, as we talk about the starfish on the beach, you're picking up these one at a time. And it might seem like it's impossible that you're going to have an impact on the entire beach littered with starfish. And most of them are going to not make it. Yeah. And you're going to have people that are going to come up to you and tell you that your efforts are useless. Mm hmm you're wasting your time you're cooking dinner for police you're wasting your time yeah. you're giving money to a charity you're wasting your time doing all these things you're buying food for the person behind you in the drive-thru you're wasting your time but you pick up that starfish and you're not wasting any time with this one no and you toss it in the ocean that's right it matters to this one yeah and you pick up the next one it matters to this one that's perspective. And I mm -hmm. think if you have that perspective in life, if you can focus on that, whether you're building a business, you're building a family, you're building relationships, you're building your community, whatever that is, it will help and serve you well as a person. And as you start this race and continue your race, mm -hmm. it will come back and help you right. towards your finish line. Right. Right. Very good. So as we end off 2021, mm -hmm. think about your starfish. Think about those examples in your life and how you can have an impact on the people around you. Yes. And that's the challenge. Yeah. What can you do practically? Maybe one of these five, maybe something else. Yeah. But at least now you're thinking about it. Right. And now let's put action behind the thought. So what can you do today to change one person's life? 
And so. if that person, if somebody comes to you after this and says it doesn't matter, you're not going to have an impact, remember, it matters for the one. Yes, yeah, right. And if everybody, millions of people, act for the one person that they can help, we will help millions of people. Absolutely. It's simple. It's so easy. So don't think because you're not rich or famous or a YouTube star with money and you can help people in a huge way and gain lots of attention. You might help somebody today or tomorrow and no one else will know. And if that you're okay with that, good. Mm. You've helped somebody. Right. And if you go home and you think at the end of the day, wow, but did it really mean anything? It did. Because yeah. it meant something to that one that's person. Right. And that's all you that's all you can yeah. do. So next week we're gonna do our year round wrap up. Yep. And we're gonna go through and talk about our our best of. Yep. <laughs> Some of our highlights of the things that we thought we we enjoyed and we want to reshare with you again. Little clips and things from our past podcasts. And looking forward to twenty twenty two, Jen. Yes, absolutely. So we've been doing this since October. I know. Twenty twenty two. We're gonna go all the way through. That's so cool. Fifty two weeks, fifty two episodes. I know. Plus Plus, you never know. You never know. Maybe some great interviews, too. So. I know. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. So have a good week. Yes. Everyone listening, and we will talk to you soon. All righty. Take care. This has been the Upcycle Canada podcast. Thanks for listening today. We appreciate your feedback and would love to connect with you. Email your questions, comments, or suggestions to upcyclecanadapodcast at gmail.com. To find out more about our business and access links to all our social media sites, podcast notes, and more, please visit upcyclecanada.ca. A review of this episode on the podcast app of your choice is always appreciated. Please help us build this community by sharing our podcast with your family and friends. Our thanks to Jacob Moon for the instrumental backing track used in this podcast. Please visit jacobmoon.com for more on this talented Canadian artist. Join us again for more great topics, ideas, and practical steps to help you in your daily life. Thank you for listening. Let's keep this conversation going. Dave. You're like, what's this music? I thought the podcast was over. Well, it is. This is actually an ad. Oh, you're like an ad. Hmm. But this is different. This is for another podcast called, ready? Dad Space. Dad Space is a podcast created for dads by dads head over to dadspace.ca for all the information and we would love if you know a dad if you are a dad if you've ever had a dad if you know a new dad a current dad a empty nest dad we have a podcast just for dads and I'd love to share with you and to share it with a special dad in your life, dadspace.ca. Thank you for listening to the podcast you've already been listening to. But if you want a little bit more podcasting greatness, check out dadspace.ca, dadspace.ca, for all the goodness for your favorite dad. Aww. It's like a Father's Day present every day. We'll see you over at dadspace.ca. Thanks for listening to all of our podcasts, and we'll talk soon. This is Dave, and I'll meet you at dadspace.ca. Cheers. And now we dance. <laughs>